Hi viewers, welcome to Gunny SK YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to explain you how to create Beam with Stiffener 129 connection in Tecla structures. Okay, let's start. Open your Tecla structures with the US environment. Okay, now we're going to create Beam. So click on Beam and pick the first position and pick the second position to create the beam like this. Okay, now, now we're going to create one more beam. Before that, we're going to take top view. So use the shortcut Control P. Now we're going to create one more beam uh, perpendicular to each other. So pick the first point at here and pick the second point at here to create the beam like this. Okay, right click on mouse interrupt. Now use the shortcut Control P to get the 3D view. Now we're going to change this profile, second beam profile. So double click on it. By default, we have the W16 by 40. So now we're going to change this profile. So click on here. Let's take W10 by 33. Then click on apply OK. Click on modify to see the result. You can see like this. And close this window. Now to get the top view, use the shortcut Control P. Now we're going to create one more view. So click on this view. Click on new. Click on here using two points. Pick the first point at here and pick the second point at here to create the new view. Right click on mouse interrupt. By default, we have the 3D view. So by using the shortcut Control P, you'll get the exactly like this. Okay. Click on window. Now you can see in the list we have the two views. Click on this 3D view. Use the shortcut Control P to get 3D view like this. Okay. Use the sh shortcut Control R and pick the position. You can rotate like this. Okay. Now we're going to create the connection between uh, beam to beam. Click on application component in search bar type 129 select this beam with stiffener 129 component and pick the main beam then pick the secondary beam to create the connection between two beams right click on mouse interrupt close this window you can see now we have the connection by default like this click on space right click on mouse view you can see now we'll get like this Okay, now we're going to edit this connection. So double click on this connection. Okay, in picture tab, now we're going to adjust the spacing between these two flange to flange. Now click on here and select this view too. You can see. Now we're going to adjust this spacing. Click on space, right click on mouse view. Now select this connection. Now we're going to adjust this spacing. Uh, let's take here half inch. Then click on modify to see the result. You can see. Now this spacing should be half inch. Okay, you can measure from here, just to scroll it like this and you'll get this measure option, then click on here and select the horizontal distance. Now select this option and pick the first point and second point and, and place it here, you'll get the half inch distance like this. Okay, right click on mouse interrupt, click on space, right click on mouse data view. Okay, now we're going to adjust this spacing also. For example, to adjust this spacing, let's take here one inch, then select this connection, then click on more to see the result. You can see now this spacing should be one inch. Okay, let's measure it horizontal distance, pick the first point and second point and place it here. You can see now this spacing should be one inch. Okay, now we're going to take this shape all just like this so select this connection now we're going to maintain here 1.5 inch then click on modify you can see you'll get this kind of shape click on space right click on mouse view you can see like this okay let's see in the 3d view click on window and select this view one click on space right click on mouse view you can see like this click on this place tab to adjust the th this thickness of this plate, now let's take here the thickness of this plate half inch. Now select this connection plate, then click on modify to see the result. Here you can see, now we have the chamfer at this corner. You can adjust this uh, chamfer value. So click on here, let's take the chamfer value half inch. And here also take half inch. Then select this plate, then click on modify to see the result. This chamfer value should be half inch here. Okay, you can see in the view view, you can see this chamfer value should be half inch. Now click on this 3D view. 
now you can adjust this spacing also this curve radius and this depth also so let's take this depth one inch and radius also one inch you can see this is the radius radius of this plate then select this plate and click on modify to see the result you can see now this radius should be one inch and this depth also one inch now next click on this bolt tab you can change the bolt size for example click on here let's take bolt size 3 by 4 inch then click on modify by default we have the 3 by 4 inch for example let's take 1 inch so click on here and take 1 inch then click on modify you can see now this size bolt size should be 1 inch okay for example we're going to take 3 by 4 inch click on modify okay now we're going to increase the number of bolts here let's take uh, three bolts with the spacing 2.5 inch then click on modify you can see now we have the three bolts with the spacing 3.5 inch if you want to increase in this side also for example if you want to increase the number of bolts in this side then you need to enter here the two bolts with the spacing two inch then click on modify you can see you can increase the number of holes like this you can change the number of patterns also for example click on here and we're going to use this pattern click on modify you'll get like this you can change the number of patterns as as you require uh, from this option like this okay by default we're going to take this one click on modify okay uh, for example if you want to will increase or reduce the this edge distance spacing then you need to enter here 2 inches and here also 2 inches for uh, this edge distance spacing then click on modify to see the result like this okay you can adjust the uh, edge distance also for example uh, from the top of beam to first bolt distance we are going to take here 3 inches then click on modify you can see like this currently we record only three bolts only so we need to enter here number of bolts one and remove this two inch then click on modify you'll get like this okay now we're going to take two two bolts here let's take two then click on modify you'll get like this With a spacing three inch. Like this. Okay, now we're going to create the stiffener, web stiffener at here. Uh, exactly uh, straight to this opposite to this beam. So click on here stiffener tab. Now click on here and take this stiffener option. Now we're going to take the web stiffener thickness 3 by 4 inch. Then click on modify. You can see now we have the stiffener with 3 by 4 inch thickness. Let's take here the 1 by 4 inch thickness here, web stiffener. Then click on modify like this. You can adjust this or chamfer value. For example, click on here and select this view. You can change this chamfer value. For example, we're going to take here half inch. Then click on modify to see the result you can see now the chamfer value should be half inch in this direction and in this direction now click on window and select this view next click on modify apply ok click on space right click on mouse data view ok that's it about how to create beam with stiffener 129 connection in tecla structures just like this okay if you have any doubts please comment below if you like this video please like it and share it for more tech structure related videos please go to my channel youtube.com slash gunny sk i will provide this link in the description below of this video please go through it and come here under videos you can find out so many tech structure related videos i hope these tutorials might be helpful to you and at the top right corner please click on subscribe button if you subscribe you will get notification updates when uploading new video so please click on subscribe okay thank you